we want to order the numbers from least to greatest. Notice how we have fractions and decimals. So to compare these, so to compare these, we'll convert everything to a decimal. And since this decimal here has three decimal places to the right of the decimal point, we'll write every number with three decimal places. So for three, we'll write as 3.000. For eight thirds, we'll convert this to a decimal by dividing eight by three. And we'll round this to three decimal places, so it's going to be approximately 2.667. Next we have negative zero point three two five. Then we have three tenths. Well three tenths as a decimal would be zero point three. So we'll write zero point three zero zero. Then we have negative three, which would be negative three point zero zero zero. Then we have zero point four, which we'll write as zero point four zero zero. And the last number is negative three-fifths. Well, negative three divided by five is going to be negative zero point six, or negative zero point six zero zero. Let's go and just check this. Negative three divided by five, and there it is. And now to compare these, it might be helpful to sketch a number line. Notice how the largest number is positive three, and the smallest number is negative three. So we'd have a zero in the middle, positive one, positive two, and negative one, and negative two. So we know the negative numbers are going to be less than the positive numbers. So let's focus on the negative numbers first. We have negative zero point three two five, negative three, and negative zero point six zero zero. Well, the smallest number is going to be negative three. So let's label this number one. And then comparing negative zero point three two five and negative zero point six zero zero, negative zero point six zero zero is going to be somewhere in here, which again was negative three fifths. And then negative zero point three two five is going to be closer to zero, maybe somewhere in here. So again, ordering from least to greatest, this would be number two, and this would be number three. Then looking at the positive decimals, 0 0.300 0 is going to be smaller than 0 0.400. So next we'd have three tenths, maybe somewhere in here, followed by 0 0.4, maybe somewhere in here. This was number four, this was number five, and for the last two positive numbers, we have 2.667 and three. Well, 2.667 would be somewhere in here, which was actually eight thirds, and then we have three. So here's the sixth number, and here's the seventh number. Let's go ahead and write these out. We had negative three, negative three fifths, negative zero point three two five. So those were the negative numbers. And then we had zero point three zero zero or three tenths. Followed by zero point four. And then two point six six seven which was eight thirds. Followed by positive three. So in general it's going to be easier to compare fractions and decimals. If we convert the fractions to decimals and write the decimals so they have the same number of decimal places. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.